if you're out here uh, cruising along and you're in a formation with uh, 30 other ships, you have a position in that formation. And uh, you go up to the bridge while they're underway, and the key to everything was maintain that position. That was, uh, that's the golden rule, to maintain that position. Well, they might be running downwind. If we're going to launch the airplane, we can't launch running downwind. So they have to leave the formation, go off to some place where they can take a different course. Maybe you're going to do a 180 and go directly aft from the formation. And if the formation going on 18 or 20 knots, and you've got to go in the opposite direction, 15 or 20 knots to get launched, you're opening a pretty wide gap and it's going to take a long time to get back on station. So to reduce that amount of time involved, we often did what's called <laughs> a cross-deck launch. That is, let's say the starboard side, uh, you put the wind on the starboard bow, uh, you train the starboard uh, catapult out 30 degrees and you launch that one. Now, the other thing would be that, okay, you, now you'd have to change course, put the wind on the other side, train out the port side, and fire the port guy. Well, there's a five or ten minute wait. And, and if, as I say, if you're getting separation at 30 or 40 knots, that's distance. That's time. They don't like that. And all of a sudden you're exposed to submarines and all these other problems that, you know, go through people's mind. So rather than to do that, they'd say, okay, we're going to launch the second airplane cross deck. By that, they would train, let's say, the starboard catapult out to a maximum. And they would take the port and aim him across the deck so that you're going across deck. So they were shooting both from the same side? From the same side. Well, what's happening? Well. Was the catapult long enough to clear? Well, it, was, it could clear, but it didn't go the other side. So you're, you, the whole part of the ship is creating an awful lot of burble. <laughs> so when you're fired across deck, you can expect a lot of burble, and which means you're going to get a rough ride. It means you're not going to get a full lift. And settling off the bow, Settling off the catapult was a fairly normal thing. We hope you just didn't settle far enough to hit the water, but you would settle. And you could expect it. You dropped below you dropped the, level, below the, the level that you were fired from. And hope that you missed the handrail and all the other things that go by. 